Hi, Jefferson Santos here, seven-figure entrepreneur and author of the book, Higher Life Design. And today we're gonna to talk about integrity, being a person of your word. Now, um, today I'm not here to be your dad, I'm just here to be your mentor. And I think one of the key things about integrity, you know, doing what you say you're gonna do, is that if you don't do what you say you're gonna do, that's kind of like a little chink in your armor of people being able to trust you, actually trust your word and what you're able to do. And also too is trust comes from within. You know, so if you keep on letting yourself down, which I have in the past, like I love sweets, I love pizza, and but most of the time I eat pretty good. Um, and there's times where I'm like, well, I'm gonna eat good this whole weekend. And obviously I get it like a piece of pizza or I get some hamburgers, nothing wrong with that. It's just, I was kind of out of integrity of what my aim and my intention was for my diet for the weekend. And so I kind of lost tr trust with myself. I broke trust with myself. And I think that a lot of people have trust issues I'm saying, I'm raising my hand, including me. Um, I did because I kept on constantly breaking trust with myself. I kept on promising myself things and breaking it. Oh, I'm gonna be on time over here and I wasn't on time. Hey, I'm gonna clean this up. I didn't clean it up. I mean, just all these little itty bitty things that really add up to a whole lot, which is our identity. And so I really had to take a look at, hard look at myself and my life. And, you know, back when I wasn't making any money is, you know, was I a person of integrity? Was I somebody that's actually, you know, doing what I was said I was doing? And now let me talk about, when I'm talking about integrity, I'm also baking in there, you know, morality and, and excellence as well. Because I think that, you know, if I say, hey, I'm going to punch you in the face and I punch you in the face, yes, I'm in integrity because I, could, I just did what I was going to say I was going to do. I'm not talking about that kind of stuff. I'm not talking about bad things. I'm talking about things that are going to take your life to the next level, things that are on the same planet of higher life design. That's what I'm meaning here when I'm talking about integrity. And, and so, so as we're out there building our identity and building our relationship with other people, I think that, you know, just being on time, you know, uh, following up when we said we were going to follow up, saying, hey, I'm going to call you tomorrow. And then you actually call them tomorrow. And so maybe it might not be a big thing to you, but it, it might be to them, you know, they're almost kind of testing you. See, we're always in line for a promotion. We're always on an audition in life, you know, for the next promotion. And if you're always kind of, you know, letting this little thing slide by, oh, I'm late here, I'll do this, I'll do that, then what starts to happen is you're, you're, you're not in excellence with yourself, you're not in integrity, and all of a sudden, you know, then it's like the line that used to be black and white becomes gray. And then all of a sudden, five years, 10 years, 20 years down the road, you're way out in left field and you're wondering why, man, why is my life all messed up? Or why I'm not, I, I thought I would be further along in life than I am right now or something like that. And that's where I found myself. And so today, I just want to bring your awareness to the word integrity, the, the, the awareness of doing what you say you're going to do. Because I think that, you know, our children, our families, our relationships, our spouses, our significant others, our business partners would really appreciate it more if we honored them and actually did what we, what we say we're going to do. And I think that's really, really important when you think about the whole grand scheme of life and also yourself. Because who are you around the most? Yourself, right? And I think that I think you owe it to yourself to actually follow up and do the things that you say you're going to do for yourself. You know, like floss your teeth or brush your teeth or go on that diet like you said you were going to do or, or, or run two miles a day for five days a week like you said you were going to do. But all of a sudden it's too cold outside, so you don't. And all of a sudden a week turns into a month and then you haven't worked out in three months. I don't want that to happen to you. So I hope there's one of us that's watching this video right now that's like, you know what? You know what, I'm glad he brought that up because there's, there's been things in my life that I've been you know, being really marginal at and I really wanna shore that up and really become successful there. And you know what, I'm not saying change every area of your life today. Maybe you could, but start small. You know, maybe, you, maybe you, you're thinking, you know, I want to work out more. Well, you know what? Hedge your weakness. Put your gym shoes and your gym socks and your gym clothes in a pile right in front of your doorway between the bed and the bedroom door. So you have to walk past your gym clothes, you know, to, you know, to actually get out of the bedroom, right? So it kind of helps. Or, or sleep in your gym clothes and wake up, put your shoes on and go. Whatever you have to do to kind of hedge your weaknesses to help you win a little bit more, I think that'll be really, really good for you and good for your future. So with that said, I hope this uh, brought some light to, and awareness to you know, doing what you say you're going to do, being in integrity with your word. And uh, I hope to help you arrive at your intended destination healthy, wealthy, and happy.